Hi, my name is Kathleen Liberoni and I'm from St. Augustine, Florida. Today I'm going to be taking you step by step through the process of completing a painting. So I do a step, then you do the same step, and then I'm going to give you the scoop on how to check yours to make sure you're doing it correctly. Remember that when you try to complete a painting in one day, what happens is because we do different steps, there are many steps involved, it's best not to spend too much time thinking about how things look uh, because the next step will totally change what you've just done. Now, in today's painting that we're going to be doing, uh, this lovely painting to my left, we're going to be doing this today, this lovely seascape. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to create a happy sky, happy clouds, also the flock of birds. There's two on the left, and then there's a flock of them on the right side of the fence post. Then we're going to have fun with the low tide, and also the water lines, and also the sand, the sea grass, sea oats, and the fence posts. You ready to have lots and lots of fun? Let's do it. Now the first thing you want to do is get everything ready, all your materials together, your brushes, your paints. Now also I'm going to show you the uh, palette that I have prepared for this painting in the order in which I'm going to be okay, using. Now this paints. is the product that I'm going to be using. It's called Liquid White. And this is what's going to give you the wet on wet technique. And that simply means that uh, once you've applied it to the canvas and go over top of it with all the other beautiful colors that you have on your palette, it's going to allow the paint to stay wet for a long period of time. That way you have plenty of opportunity to change, remove, or add anything that you wish to. That's why there's nothing you can do wrong, only happy accidents. Okay, the next step is to have fun creating a beautiful sky. And no matter what you do, it's going to be correct. Why? Because there's so many different skies out there. Even different times of the day, the sky changes. Now I'm going to be showing you how to load your brush. Again, we're using the one inch brush. And I'm going up from the bottom of the pile of paint that I pulled down. And this is the first color First two colors that we're going to use is the phthalo blue and the midnight black. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start on the corners. It doesn't matter which corner. And I just use that figure eight stroke that's horizontal, it's flat. And I'm going to do overlapping rows all the way from the top and what down to come paint. up to your canvas. And if you ever notice when you look outside and you see a cloud on top of another cloud and a beautiful blue shade in between, I'm going to be using that figure eight stroke. This time I ease up on my pressure and I'll press too hard. Now do you see how I removed that strong edge line? Now I have a natural change in color. So that's what you're looking at when you're checking out what you're doing. I'm going to be loading going. with lots of titanium white. And that's where I'm going to come directly up to my canvas and show you how to create a happy color. Okay, the next step we're going to learn how to create the uh, beautiful water. Now I've cleaned my fan brush and thinner and I'm just loading into the sand mixture that I just mixed up. Lots of paint on both sides, flat towards you so it's nice and smooth in your brush. Then I'm going to start underpainting the sand. So I'm going to hold my handle so it's straight out. My bristle is vertical and I'm going to go side to side. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the uh, water lines. Now in this particular painting the water is going towards the right. So in order to do that we want the uh, left side to be lower than the right side in the waves. Now normally in the beach uh, when you're looking at the horizon line, they're closer to each other. Then as they come towards the beach, they get further apart. The next step, I'll be showing you how to load your fan brush with titanium white. Okay, now here's my palette. Now I've squeezed out some more white paint because I needed to. Now I'm going to be taking my fan brush and just loading from the clump down about an inch, flat on both sides, and I want to load it with lots of paint so that my bristle is nice and smooth. That way I go up to the canvas and I have smooth paint to work with. Okay, when you're creating seagrass, you want to have lots of fun with paint. Um, this technique, you're actually creating texture. You're adding texture as well as uh, color. So the more fun you have, the more fun it will feel like real pine needles when it dries, which is so exciting to actually you have people come and touch your and remember dry paint. Okay, now you're going to take your fan brush and I've swished it into some thinner to clean it and then wiped it off in a paper towel. You're going to be loading with several colors to get a dark shade. Next green. are the shoots. Usually on the in the sand there are baby ivy shoots that come from the seagrass. Now all I'm doing is extending this out 
tapping with the side of the brush. Okay, when you're creating sea oats, you want to make sure that they're different in height and you do clusters, maybe five, seven, or eleven together. I'll show you how to do that next. Then you're going to take your liner brush and get ready to have lots of fun with sea oats. Now you're going to be taking thinner. Remember, dip the brush into thinner. Drop it into, in this case, green. Whatever's underneath your green that you mixed up before. Keep doing that about three times until it looks like soup. Then press flat on both sides to form that flat part of your brush. Okay, now all you're doing is using the tip of the brush to draw in or place in the sea oats. Now the next step is to create the illusion of the fence. Now you've finally completed all of the steps. Now this is the time that you can actually take a look at your painting and see if you like any of the areas or if you don't like them, have some more fun, um, create another happy cloud or change the colors in your sea grass or add more sea oats or um, whatever you want to do, just live it up. Remember to live it up and have lots of fun and I hope you had as much fun as I did today and that you learned a great deal, and I look forward to the next time that we're together.